Hi, my name is Callan and welcome back to my channel. So, if you're new here, hi. My name is Callan and you might know me from TikTok. Over on TikTok, I had a viral TikTok series where I painted rocks for my boyfriend every day until Valentine's Day and you guys loved it so so much and I have so 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 many questions on those videos about where I get my rocks, how I do it, blah blah. Yeah. So today I thought I'd give you guys a tutorial on how to paint a rock. I actually did one of these about a year ago but I have learned so much and I've got better equipment to film my YouTube videos now so I thought I'd do an upgraded version of how I paint my rocks but let's just begin. So hello there hi hands. So I thought I'd begin by showing you some of the rocks I've done recently. So here are some of my most recent designs. We've got a snail one, a rain cloud one, a turtle one and even a snowman one that I did at Christmas time. But if you need here and you haven't seen my art before that's the kind of thing we're gonna be working on today so let's start the video with what tools you're gonna need so first of all you're gonna need a rock any kind of rock as you can see you can get a small one a round one a big one whatever you fancy I selected this rock today as you can see it's kind of medium sized a little bit wonky and has a few imperfections but we're just gonna be using the softest flattest side today she is Beautiful. Beautiful. The next thing you're gonna need are paints. I'm personally gonna be using Posca pens today because they are my absolute favorite. I just find that they apply to rocks really easily and really well and they're super pigmented, but you can also use acrylic paints. I always used to use acrylic paints. I also recommend one of these miniature Posca pens. They've got a really skinny tip and they're really good for outlining, but once again, you can just use black acrylic paint and a skinny brush if you like. Next up, if you're gonna be using acrylic paints, you're gonna need some brushes. So here are some of my favorites. I have a wide variety as you can see, but you're just gonna need one brush really and maybe a skinny one to do an outline. You also want to get some Mod Podge. This is what I use to seal my design. And finally, you're going to need a pencil. Yay! <laughs> you can pretty much use any pencil you like, just an average old Joe one. But personally, I like using a mechanical one because you can adjust the nib and also you can always rely on the rubber to rub out the pencil. But anyway, let's begin the painting process. So before I could start painting, I actually went ahead and washed my rock. You may not need to do this with your rock, but sometimes I find that my rocks are a little dusty, so I just like to give them a swirl. They don't take very long to dry, especially if you use a hairdryer. Once your rock is completely dried, you should be able to start your design. As you can see here, I'm just sketching my design using my pencil. In my opinion, you don't need to worry too much with this step. You can just take your time and if you make any mistakes, it's super easy to rub out. And as you can see, I decided to rub my design out too. I mentioned earlier that the mechanical pencil made it super easy to rub out the design and you can't even tell that I did a design in the first place. But this is the point where you just spend some time sketching out your design. Personally, I decided to do an egg and a piece of toast. Yay! As you can see, I'm going to be doing two characters. So I ended up doing the egg first. I focused on that and then I moved on to the piece of toast. But if this is your first time doing a rock, you can just do one character or you can do three if you're feeling ambitious. But as you can see today, I'm just gonna be doing two. But as you can see, I finished up my egg by adding a little yolk and then my sketch was done. So it was time to grab my paints and start painting, which is my favorite bit. And this is the time where I grab my favorite Posca pen. But if you guys are using acrylic paints, you can grab those too. So I went ahead and gathered all the colors that I needed and you guys can gather the ones that you need too. And this will totally depend on what design that you're doing. But I only needed white, yellow, brown, and some ivory. But once I gathered all my colors, it was time to start painting. So I went ahead and started with the light colors. As you can see here, I'm using white to color in the white of the egg. I recommend starting with the lighter colors because it's much easier to cover up lighter colors than it is if you make mistakes with darker colors. But as you can see, I did my first coat of paint and then I went ahead and grabbed my hair dryer. You don't have to use a hair dryer to dry your design, but I am very, very impatient. And using a hair dryer speeds up the process so much. So I just went ahead and dried that and then I went in with a second coat. And at this point, if you're using Posca pens like me, I recommend that that you try and be super careful when doing the second coat of paint because sometimes you can pick up the first coat of paint which can be so annoying. But once I finished all of my lighter colors I moved on to the darker colors so as you can see here I'm using a dark yellow for the yolk of the egg. This bit's pretty much the same as the first bit you just got to be super careful especially when you're doing your second coat but you should be fine especially if you're using acrylic paint. Once I was happy with my first coat I moved on to the second coat and then I had an explosion. But don't panic all you need is some tissue paper and then you use the corner of it to absorb the ink. Posca pens do have a tendency of doing this so you just have to be super super, super careful. It's probably the only weakness. But if this happens to you, you should be able to just continue using your pen as usual and you might just have a little bit of extra ink, but just make sure you try and spread it out as evenly as possible with the nib. Once I finished painting the egg, I moved on to paint the toast. So I basically repeated the same steps as before. I picked the lightest color to begin with and started with that. So once again, I'm sticking with my Posca pens for this painting and I'm actually using the color ivory for the piece of bread. I actually love this color so much. I think it's so cute. It's like the perfect color for bread. I actually bought this color by mistake a few months ago when I was buying a white Posca pen and I 
actually love it. It's like the best thing I ever bought. As you can see, I'm doing a second coat of paint here. I almost always do a second coat because I like my pieces to be really opaque. Once I finished using my ivory paint, I actually grabbed a brown Posca pen because I wanted my bread to have a crust. I went ahead and used that brown to outline the design. Finally, it's time to do the outline. So if you're using Posca pens, this is the time you grab your skinny black Posca pen to start outlining your design. And at this point, if you're using acrylic paints, I recommend a skinny paintbrush and a black acrylic paint to paint the outline. But if you don't have either of those, any color and any paintbrush will do. I just personally like using black. So as you can see for the outline, I'm just taking my time and I'm just following those edges. This might take a few tries, but when you start getting the hang of it, it gets much easier. <laughs> once I'd finished my outline, I actually grabbed my mechanical pencil once again and I rubbed out any pencil markings that were left from earlier. And once again, I used the same pencil to add a little smiley face. It depends on your design, but I personally like adding smiley faces to everything. <laughs> so I started by sketching the eyes on using a pencil and then I used my Posca pen to add those little eyes. I actually didn't give them little smiles. I just gave them little eyes and little shines in the eyes using white. I finished up my design with my little signature mark, which is just a little bubble and I added a little heart in the middle, but obviously you can just add your own signature. But at this point, we're almost done. Yay. And I'm so happy with how it looks. It looks adorable. To finish up my designs, I always use Mod Podge. You can use a glossy one or a matte one. I personally like using a glossy one because it looks more finished. But I went ahead and applied that all over my design using quite a large paintbrush, but you can skip this step if you don't have Mod Podge. But I personally like doing it because it means that your design will be at least a little bit splash proof, maybe even more. But here is the finished design. I hope you guys were able to follow along okay and I hope you guys came up with some cute original paintings yourself. As you can see, I left the back of my rock plain, but you can add something cute if you like. But here is my completed rock. This is the one that I ended up doing today. I have done so, so many as you saw at the beginning of the voiceover, but I just love it. But this rock is actually gonna be available on my Etsy. I haven't got any other rocks listed at the moment. I just haven't had time to paint any. I'm filming all the time or packing orders and stuff, but there will be more rocks coming soon. But if you're watching this video right now on this day, the day that it's released, this rock will probably still be available. So if you guys are interested, I've left it blank so you can customize it if you're wanting to customize it. But I love it. I think it's so cute. I can't believe I've never done this design before. I'm always trying to come up with new designs because I'm doing so many all the time. I have to keep like ah, thinking of ideas and this is a new one. I can't believe I've never done anything like this before, but I have done eggs on so many things because I just love eggs. I think they're so cute. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and you were able to follow along okay and I included enough information for you guys to try it out for yourself but if you have any further questions if I missed something or you didn't quite understand something just drop your questions down in the comment section below I'll try and answer as many as I possibly can but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and you enjoyed the result and I hope you guys have fun painting rocks too but yeah that's pretty much it for today if you guys are new here I'd love it if you could like and subscribe you can also check out all my socials they'll be down in the description box below you can check out my Instagram my snapchat my Twitter my TikTok and even my Twitter Twitch. I'm not streaming on Twitch at the moment, but I will be super soon so you can go and check it out Follow over there because I have a new gaming setup now, which is so exciting But let me know if you guys have anything you'd like to see me stream down in the comments below too But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next week at 5 p.m. on Friday. Bye I don't mind your dancing